so just zooming in a whole lot. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today it's not about music, not about me touring, DJing or anything. Man, the dog is annoying. Anything like that. It's just purely about vlogging, how I edit my vlogs and how I shoot them. Because that's what a lot of people have been asking me about. And today, as you know, on vacations, it's mostly just at the pool. So I'm lacking a little bit for vlog content to be honest, but um, just I think four or five more days and I will be finally back in the studio. So let's get just started with um, how to vlog, how to shoot first, first half of the video, second half of the video, how I edit and final cut. And for example, this shot right here that you see is a pretty easy one. The camera is standing still on a little wall on a tripod and I'm just recording myself talking to you. Pretty simple. So that's where the camera was standing. And this would be just me holding the camera, filming myself. Um, most important to not just shake too much. This camera has the big advantage. It has in-body image stabilization, so it looks a whole lot smoother. You can also zoom in a little if you want to have a little closer. Ah, oh, this dog, man. You can also try and show stuff, of course. There's not really anything interesting in the background. But uh, you can also turn the camera around and just talk and film stuff. So here is, um, yeah, water that isn't working. And then there is the marketplace where, um, yeah, nothing. That's the city hall. Also not that exciting. I mean, that's really my biggest problem at the moment. I'm in the city so small, like 5,000 inhabitants. It's not the most exciting. And yeah, it's just like laying next to the pool and doing nothing. So emergency vlog content about vlogging. I mean, why not? And yes, that was just like a simple transition up just to switch locations. I know I'm still the same boring marketplace, but you can also just turn the camera around and then just be somewhere else. And again, just turn the camera and again, somewhere else. Really, really exciting here. You could also just block the lens and then transition or just end the video this way. There are a lot of ways to transition. Um, I, think, I think the coolest is like the jumping transition. It's my favorite by far. I just need to place it to try it out. Wait, you just really need to go up somewhere and then jump and land somewhere else. Still not that exciting here some garbage and stuff but actually this, this kind of environment could be really great for for b-rolls the king of making a great vlog so while you're recording b-roll you always look like a fool because you're just standing with the camera and moving slightly collecting one nice shot after another another nice one just up some flowers there's another nice one. It's most important to keep it like really smooth. The smoother, the more it looks like cinema. And the rest is then done in post. I will show it to you in a bit. I will now switch lenses to a zoom lens and try to capture even more footage for B-roll. So I switched to 120 frames. This can be slowed down in post. I'm um, just trying to find something I can zoom in on. Maybe this palm tree. And then just a little bit more of that garbage. I don't know, it looks cinematic. And then of course you can do some shots where you just position the camera somewhere and, and pass by the camera doing something, recording yourself doing something. The thing is when you're vlogging and you're filming yourself there's not a whole lot of movement in your shots because you're the one controlling the camera and if you position it somewhere and it's steady it doesn't look as good but you can in post zoom in a little if you for example shoot in 4k and down it to HD. I'll never love you again. And then there is actually my favorite. Probably because I'm a music producer, I just love to make these really fast shots just combining sounds. Mm. 
And then there's of course the editing part. You will need a laptop for that. And Final Cut Pro X. So yeah, welcome to Final Cut Pro X. That's the software I use to edit. I've already imported all of the clips and I usually just drag all of them without editing them at all into the timeline. It's just faster, at least for me, because most of the stuff I record, because most of the stuff I record usually stays in order. If you do something uh, for movies, it makes more sense to get your material from up here, drag it down, just the stuff you need. So this is me right there in front of the wall, starting the vlog, saying hi. So I just take this part, drag it to where I just walk into the frame. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. And that's where I just usually start. Here are two more shots um, that I made with the GoPro. I think I will use this one on the water, me jumping on top of the GoPro as my little intro. So for the intro, I have an asset that I always use. It's just another project. I copy all of this, go back into the recent project, paste it just in front, take these three parts, the one that says thanks for watching and uh, the end card. I just take it, cut it, move it to the very end. And then I just take these intro parts and put them on top of the intro shot with the GoPro. So it automatically creates this little fade in onto my logo. Then you have there the vlog number. You might not be able to see it because it's so bright here. So this is vlog number 329. And usually I record at home in Düsseldorf, Germany, but we're right now in says Salinas and right here is like one a layer that says grade I won't need this because that's the GoPro footage it's already graded but for everything else I will need it so I'm just copying it right here on top of the clip so that's without the grade and with the grade more on that in a bit let's just first finish the intro I don't need that very beginning right here so just delete it. I don't need the sound, so just dragging it down to zero. But I also have a shortcut. If I just hit M, it also mutes it. This letterbox layer is just for, for the black bars. And then there's another one with the letterbox and the, the blur. Then I will need music for this. Here comes the best part. Since I'm a music producer, I can just take my own music without any problem. Let's just check. Where is it? Never again. My last single right here. I usually lower it in volume to match it with the volume of, of my speech. Music should stop at that point. Here a little fade in and that's how I make the intro. You already probably know that because I showed you that at the very beginning because you're watching right now what I already edited. Then me walking into the frame talking so let's get to the grading part without being too nerdy. I shoot everything in S-Log2 to have more dynamic range. It looks like this. That's what the camera is recording. This way you just have more dynamic range. So from the very black in the picture, for example, here at the tree and to the clouds, there is just more space and color. For example, if I would shoot the same with an iPhone, for example, the sky would be probably blown out like this, so you couldn't see see the clouds, the details of the clouds. I absolutely hate that, so I shoot everything in S-Log, and then just adjust the brightness. You can see right here, it says 100. When it hits 100, that's the maximum brightness. Same here of a zero, the maximum black. So I would usually just go up here, but for the blacks, you can crush them a lot. It looks more cinematic, and I think this is like a pretty good great for a daily vlog at least. So again without and with and then I just drag this on top of everything that I already edited. And then for example here is the the b-roll part that I shot at 120 um, frames. So I just mute it, I won't need the sound. Then I have another shortcut to slow it down. Now it says slow 25 and everything should be in slow motion. I then just cut out the pieces that I like put them on top of the music. For me it's extremely extremely important that the music and the picture is always on beat. I just absolutely love it. If it's not synced I absolutely hate it. Some people do it so wrong. I just can't stand it. 
but that's just me being a music producer. And then the rest is really just, I mean, you can see the audio waveform, it's just like trying to find where I start talking, the other parts, I just delete them. And for for the sound bits for with the coffee machine, it's also just more cutting the waveform than actually cutting the picture. And then we're again at the part where I'm sitting, drinking the coffee, showing you Final Cut Pro X. So yeah, I would say we're just pretty much done with um, how to, to make a vlog. If you're interested in anything in more detail, for example, the grading, there are millions and millions of videos about it on YouTube. My channel isn't really about vlogging, it's really about music, music making and being an artist more than um, actually the, the filming of my content. I hope you still enjoyed it and one last tip if you do a daily vlog speed is by far the most important. If you can find something, an asset or, or like a template that you can make yourself to do your vlog faster, do it. Go for it. Even changing your shortcut from command B for cutting to just B makes totally sense. It will save you five, six hours per year. Same for the color grade. You saw I have this one layer and the same is also for my audio. I have one shortcut that just applies uh, uh, audio sample on top. So the audio usually sounds like this, very boring, flat and quiet. And with my preset for the audio, the highs get a little raised, the low end a little bit compression and making sure it doesn't clip. But I already showed you that in another video. So yeah, I think that's it for today. Tomorrow back to a normal vlog if you're interested in that, seeing how I actually do like a normal vlog. And also um, there is a recent vlog yesterday just where I talked about my new camera, the Sony a7 III, really interesting, a great camera. And I think four or five days ago, I talked about all of the equipment I use for vlogging. So if you're interested in that, just check it out down below in the description. That's it for today. Thanks a lot. Bye. I'll never love you again.